Okay, and welcome back students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. And we're continuing on with the chapter 14 drill problems, the odd numbered problems, but we basically only have just this one last one here, um, problem 14-7. And uh, the reason why I make these abrupt, you know, I look at a, a timer on the, uh, the recording software and I'm at 10 minutes and, um, you know, I try to keep, you know, sometimes you'll see I'll get to 15 minutes or I'll get to 20 minutes on a video. And really, the 20 minutes is kind of too long. Um, we all know that uh, the smaller chunks of information, the easier it is to remember. But I wasn't, I'm not going to make one video for each and every uh, uh, question because then you get into uh, uploading time and all this other kind of stuff. So, um, but I do try to pay attention and try to keep the time right around 10 minutes. And when I'm look, when I looked at the last video I was like at 10 minutes and 30 some seconds and I thought I don't know this average daily balance is going to take some time um, it won't take a full 10 minutes um, but it was worth it for me to actually stop and pick up in this video so that's the reasoning why I do I do what I do it all depends upon the amount of time it's taken okay. and I know you're saying well if I didn't repeat myself I could have gotten them both in well you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other, because my first explanation, some people might have gotten it and some people might not have. And by repeating myself, um, you know, then that's, you know, one, it's reinforcement, and two, um, those that didn't get it the first time might have gotten it the second time, okay, is this is a summary. So uh, pros and cons to everything, and it is what it is. Okay, so um, average daily balance and the finance charge. So uh, let's see here. Okay, we're going to start out with um, uh, $2,000. Okay, and that's for three days. Okay, so that's $6,000. Okay, then there's a payment on 919 of $60. So now we have a new balance of 1940. Okay, and that 1940 is for 11 days times 11 days okay difference between uh, 930 and 919 right it's 11 days and that comes out to twenty one thousand three hundred and forty dollars okay now this is our balance you know on 930 I mean between 919 and 930 and then on 930, um, we have an additional charge of $1,500. Okay. So now our new balance is 3440. And as you can see, that's for three more days. So that's over the course of those three days, which means that's 10,320. Okay. Well, then we have a $60 payment right, on 10-3. So that brings our balance down to uh, 3380. And that 3380 is for four days. Okay. So that comes out to 13520. Uh, and I'm going to bring this information up over here. So I'm at 3380. Okay. And uh, then I have a um, cash advance right, of $70 on 10.7. So that brings me to 34.50. And that's for, okay, let's see how many days. Uh, so if the billing is on the 16th, right? Our initial billing is on 916. So we're, ta we're talking about 1016, which is nine more days. Okay, and that's going to equal $31,050. So we take the 6,000. The 21,340. Okay, now remember, I could just add all of this up, but you're gonna, you know, since I wrote it skew on the the slide here, 
and the 31,050. If I add those all up, I end up with 0, 3, 2, 2, 8. I end up with $82,230. Okay. And of course, I want the average daily balance, so I take the 82,230 and I divide it by 30 days. And when I do that, I end up with an average daily balance and of, let's see here, 82,230 divided by 30, I end up with an average daily balance of uh, 2,741. So that's my average daily balance. Now, if my average daily balance is 2741 and I want to know what the finance charge is, and it's telling me that my interest on the charge is 1.5%, well, I'm going to multiply by 0 0.015, and I'm going to get times 0 0.015. I end up with uh, $41.115. One one five or forty one dollars and twelve cents. Okay, so I round it to forty one dollars and twelve cents for my finance charge. Okay, so really, that's um, doing the average daily balance. That's basically all it is. It does. You know, you have to do it by hand. Uh, there's no shortcuts to it. Pay attention to the number of days. The only thing that I um, would think of is when you're down to this last uh, entry here um, on the table, right, on the, the billing cycle. You know, how do you know how many days that remaining was? Notice I said 9. Well, what I did was I took that first one, 916, and said my billing cycle goes to 1016, okay? Um, and I took into consideration that September only had has 30 days okay if it had 30 if for some reason we were using a month where there was 31 days right then instead of 1016 right um, I would end up would have had to take off one day so I would have had 1015 because of the 31 days okay I hope you follow that you know just count 30 days into the future right because the average daily balance is always 30 days right so in this case here Knowing that September was has 30 days in it, that means I can use October 16th as 30 days. Um, if we were talking about, say, for example, May, all right. Now this is if we were saying May 16th, right? Then that the last day on the billing cycle would not be June 16th. That would be wrong because May has 30 31 days. So instead of June 16th, it would have been June 15th, right? And the fact remains is that from 10-7 to 10-16 is nine days, and that's why I use nine days as that last uh, uh, figure in the, the billing cycle, okay? So just do the math, add them up, divide by 30 in order to get your uh, average daily balance. And then to find your finance charge, multiply it by whatever the rate is, and the rate on this table said 1.5%, so we ended up with a finance charge of 41.12. Okay, so that's it for the drill problems, and I will see you in the uh, uh, word problems in the next videos.